So I've been noticing this pattern more and more. From these big name Chinese companies that have always put out budget friendly stuff and they always kind of thought about the consumer first and prices second, I've been seeing a trend go on lately that I want to discuss today. And as you guys can guess by the title, it has something to do with rim brakes. Uh, to me right now in the big world or big name manufacturers and cycling industry, uh, rim brake is pretty much dead except for companies like Giant who may still offer uh, a rim brake in their top tier model or maybe Pinarello in their top tier model. But a lot of these other companies like the Specialized, Trex, Scotts, everyone has pretty much adopted all disc brake bikes. Uh, just recently Specialized had just released their newest version of the Specialized Allay, um, which that was their last bike that pretty much got rid of the rim brake model. And now their whole lineup is all disc brake road bikes. And this is, this is not news. This is not new news. Uh, this is something that's been going on for quite a while now. And the whole industry has kind of adapted to it. You've seen components go that way. Wheels have gone that way. But with these Chinese companies, they really did focus on the consumers where they gave that outlet or that option for a rim brake models. They still made affordable bike frames. They still made affordable bike wheels. Whereas Zip and Envy have pretty much got rid of rim brake altogether. Uh, this was the only real place to go and get kind of competitive wheel sets. But recently, I have noticed that more and more of these companies are kind of going to a disc brake model. And I don't know if that's because of the fact that they are adopting uh, the Western style of selling. I don't know if it's maybe just because they're getting lazy and they don't want to make two different molds of a rim brake and disc brake option. Or three, is it components really forcing their hand and kind of forcing them to make only disc brake options for these new rim brakes? Because yes, they are still affordable and consumer friendly, and they're thinking about the consumer first, but if there's only so many component options out there and they're not offering a rim brake version, why go ahead and make a mold when everything's going to disc brakes now? So let me give you guys some examples. Let me show you guys what I found, all right? Give me a second. Editor, load up rim brake, dial in 2.0, 367-5. Example number uno, or numero uno, right here. 105 DI2 12-speed mechanical. Uh, 105 was one of the last known group sets to stay a, I'm sorry, DI2 electronic, I don't even know why it's a mechanical. Uh, 105 was one of the last remaining group sets to be made in a mechanical version and also offering rim brakes. Uh, it is very hard now to find any kind of main brand or a kind of mainstream group set out there, Shimano, SRAM, uh, even Campy for that model, unless it's like really expensive, and a mechanical rim brake option. They're forcing manufacturers now, not really forcing because all the Western manufacturers have adopted disc brakes but they're now forcing the hands of smaller companies or maybe rim brake enthusiast companies that are still building these uh, frames that are rim brake to go with a lower tier group set. And anyone who's anyone, you know, they still might like the older group set or they still might prefer mechanical, but people do like newer stuff and DI2 is still very nice, but they're not offering any more in a mechanical version. All of them are now just a hydraulic option. So if you wanted to buy a new style frame with a rim brake option, 105 won't work, Altegra won't work, or Durace won't work in 12 speed. Maybe Durace has a 12 speed mechanical, I don't know. And SRAM doesn't have any options at all. I'm sorry, I lied. SRAM 12 speed access rim brake, they do have that still, but that's still a pricey group set. And usually when someone's going after these Chinese brands, they don't like to go with a top tier group set. They're looking for a budget build. So it brings me to my number two point. Here are my receipts that I have here, guys. Example numero uno, we have the new launch of the Loon Mega Disc Brake Wheel Set, their $2,600 wheel set. This wheel set just came out. I believe it's still under a pre-release, so you can't, it's actually not shipping yet, but they're still working on it where it's like this crazy new Halo Tech spoke where it looks very much like a lightweight wheel, but they only offer it in a disc brake version. Now, Winspace is a big, big brand over here, uh, and still I, I sell them myself. I sell Winspace wheels as well. And they have always been known to give both options and their wheels, their hyper wheels. Their hyper wheel lineup has one of the most dominant wheel lineups on there. And it's still a great wheel to this day. $1,200, you can still get a disc brake or a rim brake option here. Um, but now that we're seeing this new release of this wheel set and also this huge price tag with no rim brake option, are they thinking about consumers? Are they being lazy by not making a rim brake option? 
or is it just because of the fact that they just think that this wheel set is this price tag and maybe going towards a more premium customer there? Um, I don't know. I haven't seen um, too many. Uh, there, there are still a ton of, of, of Chinese brands out there that are still offering rim brake and disc brake, like a super team, like Elite Wheels as well. And still, Windspace still has the option as well. But the more I'm seeing newer models come out and they're trying to stay relevant and keep up with these modern times, uh, they're going more towards a disc brake option because of the fact that it seems like these components are now pushing them towards a disc brake option, um, which is pretty crazy. Then we have example numero dos. We all know this frame right here. I've done a video on this frame. I actually ride this bike myself. This is the Elves Falleth Evo. It is a UCI approved bike that just came out of here. Elves is a very big brand in the Chinese company or the Chinese world. Um, they are known for offering a pretty budget friendly bicycle to people at a aggressive price point. They were always known for making a rim brake and disc brake option for their, I believe their Elves um, Falleth Pro bike. They have that and also their climbing bike. They have a rim brake and disc brake option. But now with this brand new UCI approved version, they only released it in a disc brake option. And people are thinking, why? Why is this? Is it again because they're lazy and they don't want to make a rim brake and disc brake option? Is it because of the fact that they went, they maybe think that disc brakes are just the more optimal uh, performance for this bike? Who knows? It is integrated cables. They want to maybe run a hydraulic hose on there. I don't know why, but it seems that more and more of these Chinese companies are adopting the Western side of it because of the fact of components and everything like that, uh, which is pretty crazy. Example numero three. We covered wheels, we covered frames, and now we have the last one. We have last up the components situation. Now again, I just did a video on this, the L2 ERX. I actually have it in my room. I'll actually stand up and get it right now, but I'm in my underwear recording this video. This is a brand new two by 12 speed electronic group set, first of its kind by a Chinese manufacturer component company out there with hydraulic disc brakes. Set here to compare and rival to these companies like SRAM, like Shimano, and like Campy. One of the biggest complaints I got in my video's comments, it did pretty well. I think it's at like 40,000 views right now. I think half the comments in there of the 400 comments are, I wish they made a rim brake version of this. Again, this is a company that pretty much started off meat and potatoes. They strived out on a rim brake version or a mechanical version. They have like mechanical disc brakes that you can set up probably with a rim brake as well. Um, again. I don't know if there's plans to go out with rim brake designs, but it seems again, they're thinking more of a forward production because they're making more, uh, they're going after a, maybe a more high profile consumer, or maybe they're just going after and saying, hey, we don't need to make a rim brake version of this. We wanna focus on disc brakes. This is the future going forward and not to be bothered by the rim brake option. Um, who knows? But I know that there's a ton of consumers out there who want this kind of price point, which I got screwed off on that price, but whatever it is. Um, that want an electronic group set like this at this price point for this five piece upgrade kit with a rim brake option. So we'll see if they're going to go out in that way to do so. But as of right now, I have not seen anything. And I'm sure there's more to come when I say this because I've seen and talked to other companies as being a YouTuber, they kind of send me stuff and I'm noticing more and more the lack of rim brakes in these options. There doesn't seem to be as big of a field as there used to be for a rim brake option. And again, is it laziness? Is it they see the future as going this way? Or maybe they're just kind of bottlenecked into going this way because of the fact that the lack of compatibility with new components. Uh, we don't know, but it doesn't seem to be that big of a deal for the Western style. Like I said, on my end, yes, there's people who still complain about rim brakes. I still have riders who ride rim brakes, but usually everyone who comes into my store now, newer consumer or not, they are looking for a newer bike with disc brakes on there just because um that's usually what's only out there and if the customer doesn't know about rim brakes and they're more intrigued by disc brakes then that's just what it's going to be so who knows but as these companies did step onto the field and their bread and butter was price points um consumer first options choices uh really did put that into it are they more adopting the Western style of just saying, hey, this is what we're making. This is our product. This is what we stand behind. That's what you guys get. Who knows? But anyways, guys, that's going to do it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. So, and I'll see you guys in the next one.